Howdy again. So I'm back working on this uh, press brake for the friend of mine. Had a little delay when I burned out a switch on my uh, mill by crashing it, of all things. Anyhow, I'm working on these little nuts that are used to adjust it. You can see this one. You turn this nut and it changes the position of this eccentric to change the position of another device. And I already did this one. You can see it's, what I did is I sprung this guy out right here, very carefully wind it out because it had been crushed down as things wore and then shimmed it so it stayed there. And then I machined this piece to just barely fit in there. So I can't turn it by hand, but with a wrench I can turn it. So what it'll do is it'll wear in, lap in, whatever you want to call it over time and it'll fit, it'll work great. But how did I do that? So here's the guy, it's all worn up. This one I actually had a little crack and I went to try and braise up a little bit and I realized this stuff is so porous and so full of oil that the oil constantly boils out and it's it's going to be a, a madness to try and braise it. So sometimes you drop back and punt. So this, I'll give you a look at it, is a piece of steel pipe, thick wall steel pipe. And I turn it on the lathe to where it doesn't quite fit on there. Kind of start it. Right? So, what I'll do with this thing is bore out the other arm like this with a boring bar right to where I can just dress this off the lathe just a tiny bit. In fact, I'll do that in a, in a few moments. Dress it off. Get it all ready. It's like a, a sleeve now. And then I'll get it really hot. And set it on here and put it in the press and press it down flat. And then you end up with this. Let's see if I can get a good look. You can actually see it. See right here? This is the sleeve. This is the cast part. So that sleeve's in there. So that fixes these. At the same time, I'm gonna make you car sick now because I'm pulling the camera out. On the mill, I am ready. I'll show you this thing. See? I'll bore this bore out. Until this will fit in there, until I get it really close, and I'll I'll dress it on the lathe. Sorry about that. The other end, you can see down in there, it's just clamped down now. When I brazed it up, it was a lot of metal. It was about three hundred. Not too good. I shut it off. Anyway, when I brazed up that big, the other arm, it looks like this. This one, by the way, isn't worn. It was about 300 thousandths of an inch out of whack, which that's like over a quarter inch. You know, quite a bit over a quarter inch. So anyway, when I brazed it up, there was a couple of spots where there was flux or you know I didn't put enough brass in there so when I machined it I had these like divots and they they were back big enough to trigger my OCD when it comes to stuff like that so I heated the whole thing up and brazed it up again and now I, when I get done with this little guy I'll do the bore and once the bore's done I can proceed with brazing this sleeve on and dress it up and the thing will be done but still you got to make a board to match this I got to make a board to match this so ain't gonna be soon I think it'll be a long time but ain't gonna be soon 
Thanks for watching. When it comes to our devices, we are no longer really the users. executive editor at Recode and joins us. Peter, we know that fantasy betting sites like DraftKings and FanDuel are getting into sports betting, but why could this be big money for media companies as well? What uh, the media hell? guys have been looking at this for, for more than Friggin a year. Friggin' switched to the metric in the middle of it. What a dumbass. would be legal and try to figure out how they would cash All in. Right. Um, they know lots of people gamble uh, illegally today. Um, they're assuming as that becomes legal, there'll be opportunities for them to participate. And then the question is, how? And there's a range of options ranging from Pretty basic to pretty well, and then I zeroed so it while I was doing it. Keep my fingers the away from the buttons. Of how they do that. The, the, the Put it away and get an actual micrometer that I'm raising. Which is, hey, we're going to put on programming that's appealing to people who bet on sports. One inch, six hundred thirty-seven thousand. Uh, programming that's directed specifically at sports betting. Um, I think over time, I think you, even if you're not sports betting, you're going to when you're watching a NFL game something like that, you're going to see a lot more information directed at sports gamblers in the same way that uh, a lot of fantasy One sports... One 650, so 20,000 to win. Uh, a medium, a medium version Take of this, this guy. is taking advertising this guy. from people who are in the sports betting industry. And the most complicated thing... So it sounds like if I could take 10,000 and it got both sides, I'd be close. I taking bets see what that looks members. like. That's pretty hard to do, but I think some companies are looking at it. Are companies worried at all about being associated with the part of gambling that may not be so appealing in general? People get addicted to gambling. There are reasons why companies have stayed away from it in the past. Yeah, I think in the past, uh, legality was first and foremost, and morality was, was secondary. And it'll be interesting over the next couple of years to see which companies say, all right, look, if this is legal, we're going to do it. Here we go. <laughs>
else are, are embracing this, uh, first and foremost, the NBA, which has been pushing for this for a couple of years now. And is the idea that the media companies would actually be taking the bets themselves in the future? or, or One in 647. That's, that, that is the most difficult thing to pull off um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, a major one is that sports betting is going to be legalized state One in 649. State. state is going to have its own regulations. So what I'm going to do is I'll do a little cleanup. Wants to take sports bets Tiny bit. To comply with various state and regulations. you've seen enough of this. I don't need to run a lot of video. For a big media company like a Disney... So here's going to be a little video of turning. I've got this piece of steel pipe in here. And when I'm boring it, you don't want to hit these jaws. So I left a little lip on the back. So what I'm doing is I'm getting the bore pretty close. And then I'll face it off. And then I'm going to turn this guy right up to those jaws. Just until I get a fairly nice sphere, you know, perfectly round surface. Which will help it ride in the uh, clamp when it goes in there. So, here we go. Yeah, I just whittle away at it. A little bit at a time. It's such a small part, and of course, I have made it very thin, so I don't want the tool pressure to exceed the ability of that cylinder to remain stuck in the jaws and fling it in my face. Never had that happen, I don't want to start now. Tiny bit of oil just to help the chips clear. guy has got a rusty surface 
this insert's not going to be happy until it gets through that rust. So I got to be kind of careful. Step the cut, but it's two sides, so it ends up being sixteen thousandths by the end of the total diameter. Still feel it bumping something, or it's not quite down. Take it off, take a look at it. Oh yeah, if you look. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, there's a little spot. So what I'll do, move it up a little bit, come in here, just give it a couple three thousandths. See, that small a cut, it's throwing big strings off, which I really hate. There it is. Take it off, deburr it, ready to go to the next step. Howdy. So here's this thing that I've spent today brazing. This is the part that goes on it. Something like this. Remember that had that had like this much play before. So I've got it not too tight, not too loose. I mean it's gotta articulate. But there it is. This guy, got that all done up. This right now with this thing sprung down is pretty tight, so. Best thing to do when you adjust it is uh, be careful. Oops. See, it's got a little dog, goes up here and hits a spot right here, like this. I think that's it right there. Yahoo.